गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम सोशल टीचर आई विल एक्सप्लेन द लेसन नंबर टू आवर कंट्री इंडिया आवर कंट्री इंडिया इज वेरी बिग एंड ओल्ड इट इज वेरी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अनदर प्लेसेस इन द वर्ल्ड over the years people from different races and faiths have made our country india their home it can be seen in our language culture and religion india our country is the second most populous country in the world which is second to china and our country's population is over 120 crore people now let's come to the location of our country the world's landmark is divided into seven continents asia africa north america south america antarctica europe and australia india lies in the continent of asia now here i will show you in this world map the continents of the world here is north america south america africa europe Asia, Australia, and Antarctica. Our country lies in Asia. Here, this is our country, India. The land that makes up India is consist of mainland and many islands. now the main of in mainland of india is a large peninsula bounded by sea on three sides peninsula means this portion this portion which is surrounded by oceans like Bay of Bengal, Indian Ocean, and Arabian Sea. Now we'll go to the neighbors of our country, India. To the west and northwest, if we'll go, then we'll see Afghanistan and Pakistan. To the east, if we'll go. then we will see bangladesh and myanmar and to the south if we we'll go then we will find sri lanka next topic is political divisions now india capital's name is new delhi in our country is divided into 28 states and nine union territories because of administrative purposes it means one mm that one person cannot see or run the whole country that is why our country is divided into many parts now we will see the states in united states of india 
with their capitals in next page page number nine here are the states in united states of india with their capitals you can see in your book page number nine now we'll come to the physical divisions india is divided into six physical or you can say geographical regions because of their characteristics of landforms and they are the northern mountains the northern plains the thar or great indian desert the peninsula plateau the coastal plains and the islands now i'll show you the capital of india in the india map here see this is delhi our country's capital now i'll show you the himalayas here look at this map this is the himalayan range or himalayan region with this i am concluding my today's lesson now i am going to give you homework write the states and united states of india with their capitals in your homework copy or test copy